Hello friends, welcome to Continental Desi Kitchen. In today's video, we are going to see how to make guinea fowl meat curry in Indian style which will be very delicious and flavorful. So friends, let's get started with the recipe. So here I have taken around half kg of guinea fowl meat with skin off. If you are not aware, guinea fowl is a poultry originating from Africa and are related to other game birds like pheasants, turkey and partridges. And now we shall marinate the meat. Here goes 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, 2 tablespoon of thick curd or dahi, then goes some salt, say around 1 teaspoon or as per taste. Next goes 1 4 teaspoon of haldi or turmeric powder. Then these are fried onions. I have used one large onion which has been thinly sliced and fried until they are crisp. And now with clean hands, we'll mix all the ingredients and massage into the meat. As this is a game meat, marination for at least 3 hours is very important as this step will make the meat more tender, delicious and flavorful. Alright, mixing is done and now we will let this rest for at least 3 to 4 hours. Next, heat a karhai and into it goes 2 tablespoon of mustard oil. I prefer mustard oil to cook mutton, duck or meat of this kind. And when the oil is hot, I will add one dry red chilli, two small cinnamon sticks or dalchini, one bay leaf or tejpatta, few cumin seeds or sabut jeera, three cloves or long, three green cardamoms or elaichi and few coriander seeds or sabut dhania. Now add all of this into the hot oil. Let them splatter for a while. Next goes some minced onion, ginger garlic. I have used here one large onion, three large garlic pots and a small piece of ginger and have chopped them using a chopper. And now we need to saute them well until they turn deep golden brown and the raw taste of onion, ginger, garlic goes away. And now time to add our marinated guinea fowl meat into the karhai. Keep the flame on high now and on high flame we will fry the meat for at least 5 to 6 minutes until the color of the meat changes to deep golden brown. And as you can see the meat has been well fried by now and has turned deep golden brown. And at this stage, I will add some finely chopped tomatoes. I have used here one large tomato which has been chopped using a chopper. And we will fry the tomatoes until they turn mushy and are well combined with the meat. And now I will add 4 baby potatoes. Fry them for another 2 minutes. And now I'll add some spices. Here goes half teaspoon of coriander or dhania powder, half teaspoon of roasted cumin or jeera powder, one four teaspoon of kali mirch or black pepper, and one tablespoon of Kashmir red chili powder. This will give a nice red color to our meat curry. Now on medium flame, we will mix the spices well and stir them for two minutes. Alright, and now we will cover and let this cook on low flame for about 5 to 6 minutes. After about 6 minutes, remove the lid. We'll stir the meat once. And just to let you know, the meat of guinea fowl takes a longer time to get cooked, just like mutton or duck, compared to chicken. So if you want, you can now transfer the meat into a pressure cooker with some water and cook for 2 to 3 whistles. Or cook in the karahi in this way after adding some water the way I am doing now. And after adding water we will stir the curry once and now on low flame we will cover and cook the meat for another 30 minutes or until they are well cooked. And after half an hour we will remove the lid. And you can see the water has reduced slightly. And our curry has become rich and thick and a perfect consistency just the way I want it. I will check one piece and you can see it's well cooked by now. 
Finally, I will add one four teaspoon of garam masala powder and some chopped fresh coriander leaves. Give a final mix. And friends, this gravy looks so very delicious. Perfect to enjoy with naan, roti, jeera rice, or pulao. All right, and now time for serving. And friends, here goes our rich and delicious Guinea fowl meat gravy in the serving bowl. And I hope you will try this interesting recipe. Also, I would love to hear your feedbacks. And if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do so for more interesting recipes in future. See you soon in my next video. Until then, bye bye. Take care and stay safe.